guys welcome back okay so today I wanted to just sit down and play around in some of my singles some of you guys know I have kind of started a little depotting journey because I have a lot of palettes that I just went through a declutter so I gave a lot of stuff away and I still had some palettes that I decided to keep and that were kind of in the maybe section and I decided to try my hand at depotting some shadows. So I'm kind of going through this whole phase of deciding which of those shadows I want to keep, which ones I want to give away. So I want to start playing around with them and using them. So this here is a empty, well it's not empty now, but it is a magnetic eyeshadow palette that I purchased off of Amazon. I think it was like 13 bucks from this company, Alwan. And I really like this size. It holds a, a decent amount of shadows. You know, they have smaller ones, larger ones, but I like this one. Um, it's kind of helping me to just kind of group certain colors together and kind of get more organized with <laughs> my depotting. So right now I just kind of have thrown a lot of purple shades in here, some purples, some blurples, um, a couple of blues I threw in here just you know, to give me a little bit of added depth. But these are just some single purple shadows that I have depotted from several different palettes and just placed in here. And I've just kind of written down like the name of the palette on the back of the shadow or whatever. Some palettes, you know, either didn't have a name for the actual shadow or I didn't really care what the name was because <laughs> a lot of times I don't use names anyway, but I did write down the palette that I came out of, so I would at least know that. But these palettes are really handy to have. And like I said, I like this size. It holds a decent amount. So anyways, enough of that. Let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm just going to choose a color that I want to use. I will list on the screen what palette the shadow is from, so you guys will know that. And let's just jump right in. So. First, I'm gonna start by prepping my lid, though, before I forget. I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and prep my lids with this today. Okay, so this first shadow that I'm going into is called Silver Lining. So it's kind of like a cool tone mauve shade. It's like a shadow that I would just kind of blow out all over my lid, really. But I think this will be a nice transition for this purple eye look. And some single shadows that I have, you know, of course are depotted. But I've also purchased a lot of shadows, like single shadows, um, from like Coastal Scents or ColourPop. Um, I just got that set from Adept Cosmetics, and I really want to try out some more indie brand singles as well because, you know, they have some of the nicest, most vibrant and pigmented shadows, so I definitely want to just kind of try out some more indie brands as well. So I know my single shadow collection is going to grow considerably <laughs> over the next few months because I really want to try out some more um, indie brands. So I really like that color. That's pretty. Like I said, very, I don't know. It's just, it looks kind of cool tone to me. Nice mauve shade, so very pretty. Next, I'm gonna go into a shade that's a little bit more of like a red tone purple. So I'm gonna go into this shade here called Sleeper and just really buff that out in my crease area. Thank you. 
Oh, that's very pretty. And I'm just going in with that first brush, whatever's left on there, and just blending out the edge of that with that mauve shade. I'm really just in the mood for kind of like a messy blown out lid, like nothing <laughs> with any real structure to it. I just want color all over my lid. Okay, so far I really like those two colors together. Now I want to deepen it up a bit, of course. So this purple shade here is really like, you know, just a basic purple. I did pull this from my 35E palette that I got from AliExpress. So it's just your basic purple. Let's see how she performs. So the 35E palette that I got from AliExpress was really like, a dupe palette for that Morphe, you know, their old colorful rainbow palette. Because every time I would go to their website, and this was a couple years ago, of course, every time I would go to their website to try to purchase it, it was sold out. And then it kind of like never came back. And, you know, then I guess the James Charles palette kind of replaced it. So, yeah, this palette, it came in handy. I'm sure it wasn't as or didn't perform as nicely as the Morphe one, but it came in handy for a little AliExpress palette. I probably paid like less than 10 bucks for it. So just to save some space, I went ahead and depotted it. So even though they're all purple shades, it's still adding a bit of dimension to this eye look. Okay, now that I have those three purple shades on my lid, kind of blown out, I wanna go in with one of these kind of multi-chrome shades that I got from AliExpress as well. I think I'm gonna go in with this kind of blue purple one. This one is supposed to have purple in it, but it pulls very teal. So I'm gonna skip on that one, and I'm going to use this one that kind of has like more of a blue purple pull to it if you can see that i know the ring light is kind of messing with it but let me see if i can show you some of this in the top so this is what it looks like in the top isn't it pretty oh my gosh that is so pretty so i'm gonna see if i can put some of this on my lid my girl lily sent me this lit to help me with shimmers and stuff on my lid i still don't know how to use it but <laughs> I'm gonna try to use some on my brush today. So I just put some on my brush. I think I put way too much, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so let's see how this goes. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, that is really really pretty but it's kind of wet I might have put too much lit I'm gonna turn my fan on to help it dry now I'm just going in with a little bit adding a little bit on my finger and just tapping it on top of that since the lit made it so wet just to kind of oh that's gorgeous <laughs> oh my gosh i'm getting it all over my face but that is pretty oh my gosh that's so pretty yeah that's gorgeous look how it looks on my finger you guys ah oh, that's so pretty okay y'all cannot tell me i am not doing the most today <laughs> loose pigment oh my gosh it is so pretty i'm gonna have to order some more because i got these from aliexpress for just a couple of bucks but you only get a very small little amount in here so yeah your girl's gonna have to get some more of this yo this lit ain't no joke okay <laughs> i think i'm figuring out how to use it 
Okay, now I'm just gonna throw on some black liquid eyeliner so I can move on to the face. Okay, so to line my lower lash line, I'm going in with this Wet n Wild Idolize um, eyeliner. As you can see, it's kind of holographic. I've had this forever. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. I don't even know if you can see that, but it's really pretty. And I'm going to go back into the darkest purple shade and just smoke out my lower lash line. Okay, and since I used the champagne pop for my highlighter, I think I'm going to use it for my inner corner pop today also. And for mascara, I'm just going to go in with my Thrive Cosmetics Lash Extension Mascara. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do a little setting spray before I do my lipstick. I'm gonna go in with my ABH Dewy Set Setting Spray. So I'm in the mood to match my lips with my eyes today. No nude today, we're going purple. So I'm just going to line it with my Kiss Liner. I changed my mind. I was going to do a lipstick, but I think I'm just going to use my liner to color my lips today and add a little gloss. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of my Essence Shine, Shine, Shine gloss. And that's it you guys for this purple eye look today using some of my singles that I really wanna get more acquainted with. So hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with me to create this look I really, really like that AliExpress um, duochrome loose pigment shadow. Man, with that lit, it is just like really beaming. I love it. So anyways, I will, um, I'll try to find the link for that and leave it down in the description box as well if you wanna get yourself some of those duochrome kind of color shifting uh, loose pigments because they have a lot of different colors of these and they're really cool <laughs> so anyways this is it you guys thanks so much for hanging out with me today to create this kind of wild and crazy blue look if you haven't please go ahead and subscribe hit the like button if you like this video and i will see you on my next one Toodles!